The Edgewonk Trading Journal goes beyond a purely data-driven approach to analyzing your trading performance. And Edgewonk provides a lot of qualitative insights. You can see how your trading decisions are directly impacting your trading performance. In this video, we want to go over those features. We are starting in the journal where you can see all of the trades that you have journaled. We can bring up a trade by clicking on the row and then here on the advanced trade data, that's where you can rate your entry, your exit and your trade management. In this case, we can see the entry was taking perfectly, the exit was an end of day exit and there were no trading management decisions made. By using positive and negative comments to describe your entry, your exit and your trade management, this will activate the tilt meter. A green tilt meter shows that you respected the rules on your trade. A red tilt meter shows that you have broken your trading rules. The larger the red part, the more often you have broken your trading rules. The larger the green tilt meter, the better you have followed your trading rules. Let's go to the equity graph and here we see our trading performance in terms of our account currency. What we can do is activate the tilt meter. This will bring the tilt meter here in the background. A rising tilt meter shows that you have followed your trading rules. A declining tilt meter shows that you have repeatedly broken your rules. We can see a very interesting correlation here between performance and trading decisions. In this part, the trader realized a very positive performance. And this was accompanied by a rising tilt meter, which means that good trading decisions led to good trading results. The trading performance topped out here and we saw a decline. At the same time, very interestingly, also the tilt meter went down. So bad trading decisions were followed by bad trading results. That's a very important insight because it shows the trader that when he's following his trading rules, the performance is very positive. And this can be a very great confidence boost for the trader. Let's go to our chart lab and then we want to go to efficiency. The efficiency graph is another great way of visualizing your discipline level. The higher the efficiency, the more you have followed your trading rules. The lower the efficiency, the more you have broken your trading rules. The efficiency graph is also based on the trade exit, the trade entry and the trade management comments. A declining efficiency shows that you have broken your trading rules and assigned more negative comments. A rising efficiency graph shows that you have followed your rules. In the chart lab, we can also scroll down a little bit and we want to go to the trade comments. By default, you will see the trade entry comments. Here we can see all of the trades that have been tagged using the perfect entry. The performance is very positive, which makes sense. Whenever the trader is following the entry rules and taking only good entries, the performance is positive. But when he's made an entry mistake, entering trades too late, impulsive, too early, or he revenge traded, the performance was negative. We can also go to our trade exit comments and we see a similar picture. When the trader is following the exit rules, he has a positive performance. But when he's getting out too early, for example, he's losing money on the trades. It doesn't take long to tag your trades using the entry, exit and trade management comments, but they will unlock a lot of features and great insights into your trading behavior. To get an overview of the comments and to get an idea what you can track, let's go to settings and then to the trade comments. You can pause the video to see what we have entered here. We have the trade entry, the trade management and the trade exit comments. You can add new comments here. You can also assign a rating that is describing the trading behavior. And then once you have done that, you can go to your journal and tag the trades. You can scroll to the left and then here you'll see the columns for your entry, your exit and your trade management. You can also change them on the fly just by clicking into the row here where you have an empty cell brings up the drop down with all the different options. You can assign it and then when we scroll to the left, you can see we now have a slightly negative tilt meter. And that's how you can use the comments together with the tilt meter and the efficiency to get deeper insights into your trading performance, into your trading behavior and analyze the correlation between good trading results and good trading behavior.